Uh, and speaking of those Raptors, they keep pulling me back in, Max. They keep pulling me back in. Uh, Malachi Flynn has continued to develop. He's been fantastic defensively, really active hands. I've already said a lot of this. Ken Birch, such a breath of fresh air compared to what we've been getting from Boucher and Baines defensively and even a little bit offensively. Like he had a couple of blocks the other day, just looks so much more athletic and, and can stay with guys in the paint. Um, and he doesn't just shoot threes that, that like Aaron Baines is threes when they miss hurt even more than normal people. Cause it just, you just, I don't know, the brick resonates through your body when he puts it up. Cause he goes, he does this like crazy push shot and it just conk and it, you feel it. Like it physically hurts. Uh, but Ken Birch doesn't shoot those threes. Um, uh, he's starting to develop a little bit of chemistry with the point guards. Of course, it's been tough with Raptors management, trying to tank sitting Kyle, sitting Fred, uh, sitting OG, sitting Pascal, and they still managed to steal a couple games uh, this last couple weeks. So it's been nice to see some of those bench guys really hustle and uh, a huge win against the San Antonio Spurs. They are now only one game behind the Chicago Bulls. And with Zach Levine entering COVID protocols, so he'll be missing at least 10 days, huge opportunity for the Raptors to maybe squeak by the Bulls into that play-in tournament, which is long-term outlook, maybe not what you want as a franchise, but keeps the playoff streak alive, right? And gives fans something to cheer for because you got to think that if this team gets healthy, they're definitely better than all those teams in the play-in tournament, you would think. So just really interesting to see what, like when this team is fully healthy and now you've got an actual productive center in Ken Birch, maybe they could actually do something in the play-in tournament and get into that official playoffs and then see if you could make a little bit of noise. I mean, who are the teams they lost to this past week? The Hawks, the Knicks. So those are the, those are the teams right in the play-in who will probably be around that seven seed. Um, I think the Hawks game especially was just poor effort. Like Gary Trent and OG were kind of taken over and trying to get their own shots, which was really weird to see because they're normally not like that. But yeah, and Gary Trent was another guy who missed the game against San Antonio and the Raptors somehow still managed to pull it out. Like just Flynn, Birch, and then they got some great bench play from Utah Watanabe, Paul Watson Jr., Freddie Gillespie, this 10-day guy. Uh, very similar. You can't have him and Birch on at the same time. But if you run kind of uh, Birch, Pascal, Gillespie, Boucher, any combination of kind of those two switch back and forth, like Birch and Gillespie provide you very similar gameplay. Uh, and Gillespie goes up blocks DeMar at the rim, uh, but then he gets dunked on by uh, Eubanks later on. Still, he's willing to challenge and uh, he's a big dude. So he sets good screens and uh, has given them a ton of energy on the offensive glass as well, which I really like. So Really interesting to see that now you're getting production out of this bench. Uh, and maybe if they get healthy, they can do something. They keep pulling me back in. I don't want to be pulled in. Every time they lose, it's like, all right, tank for a top five pick. And when, every time they win, it's like, oh, they're right there. They're right there. So it's it's not the best spot to be in. But yeah, they're, they're uh, wavering, vacillating back and forth between being a lottery team and being a team that maybe, hey, you could do something in the, in the play-in tournament. So yeah, that's the story of being a Raptors fan right now.